before we get started, please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos. Phil, unfortunately, we have some uh, current headlines to talk about. And there's the monkey wrench was thrown into this whole thing last night. But or yesterday when I found out extra news. CCM hockey is not using Alexander Ovechkin or Rocky of Russian hockey players in their marketing. Uh, according to agent uh, Daniel Milstein, my clients have been getting death threats. My clients, babies have been called Nazis on Instagram. My clients on the streets have been told to get the F out of the country. Most of the, um, most of them are in a tough spot because they can't speak. Some of them are concerned for their families back home. Capitals GM, Brian McClellan, said there's a lot of pressure put on them to have a political opinion either way and they're trying what uh, to paraphrase by the way now what their political opinions are and repercussions back home because you got to think about that repercussions back home and then That's why you keep politics out of sports right and then i found this one out yesterday uh the capitals banned ukraine flags and Russian flags at the games. Is the treatment of Ru- Russian hockey players right now fair? They're all in a bad place. Did anybody see what happened last year with Artemi Panarin? Thank you. Did anybody, did anybody keep their eyes and ears open during that? Because if you did, you would know why Alexander Ovechkin is afraid to say anything. And I, I know, oh, but this is a guy that's been a Putin lackey for so long. Now. You don't you don't do this in the in this type of time right now. You don't put any pressure on him to say one thing one way or another. He's already said that he doesn't want war. He doesn't want any of this. But it, it, it you can't put a player like this in a position because you want a player to align with your political beliefs or anything like that or or anything. And this is stupid. This is this is not about it's not about political beliefs. This is about protecting people's families and lives right now. So let's remove politics from sports and stop villainizing players that just want to be here and play hockey and raise families. Because that's what these guys are. They're humans. Mm-hmm. They're, 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 not, they're not political puppets. They're not political propaganda. They're not political pieces of meat. Stop it. Stop it. It, it, take, take this element away and let the politicians and the CNN and Fox News and all those other political media news outlets, let them talk about hockey or uh, about politics and war and all this other stuff. Stop asking these athletes who could say one thing and have their families dead in a ditch in Siberia because you want them to, to be anti-Putin. Listen, I, I don't like Vladimir Putin either. I, I don't. I, I think he, the world would be better if he didn't exist. I, I think everybody could agree on that for the most part. But asking someone like Alexander Ovechkin to denounce anything that he has to do or has had to do in the past with Vladimir Putin in this type of situation, when you know what happened with Artemi Panarin, is morally and, and just fiscally irresponsible you are and you know what if you want to take the russian athletes off of the ccm advertisements fine fine they still have their contracts with those with 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 those companies you know uh, these guys still have their contracts with ccm and they don't have to be on the 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 faces of ccm hockey you know connor mcdavid is already the face of ccm hockey we don't need Alexander Ovechkin to be the face of CCM hockey. You know, we don't we don't need that. What we need is for these guys to be protected, for their families to be protected, for their loved ones and their friends to be protected. So it, it, it think think about think about their lives, not about your political opinions, not about the way that you want them to align, not about anything else. Think about their families. You want to talk about how you're empathetic and how you're this and that? Well, show empathy for their families then. Show empathy for their families and shut your damn mouths. I'm going to say these words in the same thing I said last year when 
this happened with sure. Artemi Panarin. Thank God I'm American because I can make a political statement right now and not have the fear of police coming to my door to take me away forever. For a lot of these networks and people that have opinions, uh, politically speaking, whether it was senators, whether it's uh, reporters, whether it's uh, whoever, just someone on Twitter. We just had the Olympics in China. And Nancy Pelosi was telling people, don't speak out against the Chinese government. It's, I mean, where were they this month? Where they, they, were, they weren't getting opinions on all that? They took away... Um, oh, good. We actually have Mr. Anthony LaRocco joining us on, on this. Uh, they took away the, the World Juniors from Russia in 2023. They could easily reinstall that. Mm. It's, it's just, there's, you know what? Why are we asking their opinions? It was, it's, if, 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 if he comes out right now, Alexander Ovechkin says, hey, um, I, 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 don't want, I don't want war. What's he doing? Throw, throw him out of there. Is Putin going to stop? What What do you think is going to happen? Mm -hmm. Anthony? It's so irresponsible. Really. Yeah. Anthony, so or is the treatment of Russian hockey players fair right now? Um, no, I, I, I don't think so. Um, you know, we can't, just because they're Russian, we can't associate them with what's going on right now in this world. Uh, you know, a lot of them, um, you know, I mean, Ovechkin spoke out about it. Sure, he supported Putin in the past, but he said all the right things uh, last week. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't think like you know, for instance, CCM not using him as a um, kind of like a poster boy anymore. I, I don't really think that's particularly right. Um, like Phil could said in our text is basically just like you know, cancel culture. Um, and I, I don't know, I just, uh, I just, I just can't get around them being treated like this. I know Dan Milstein said that. Um, you know, a lot of his Russian clients had to get extra security around them because, you know, they were getting threats and stuff. And that's just that's just not right. People are, are idiots threatening them like not just because they're Russian doesn't mean they they like what's going on. So um, I, I don't think they're being treated fairly right now. But um, unfortunately, due to the climate of the world right now, I guess it's par for the course, but it doesn't mean that it's right. No. And it's just like when 9-11 happened and all the Middle Eastern uh, people that lived in this country were were being, you know, it, it, they had racist things shouted at them. They were accused of being terrorists and spies and everything. Japanese like during World War II. Yeah. And, and, yeah and, camps. and that's another thing, too. Yeah. You could go. We could go even further back. It, it, nationalistic attitudes are what what's killing us right now. And. And, and yeah, and this comment from Brody kind of says it all. Like, they're just here to play hockey. Like, how you you put these guys in a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. And I, I just don't get it. And you know what? And Rican brings up Rick Westhead here. Uh, you know, for, for all that Rick did with the – the uh the Kyle Beach and the Blackhawk situation and everything like that and that whole scandal. You know, Rick kind of like drilling Alexander Ovechkin with this type of deal was just stupid because did you not see what happened with Artemi Panarin again last year? Like, why would you put somebody in that type of position? Why? Like, why would you do that? You've already we've already had an example of how this works. And any Ranger fans that want to want to crucify Ovechkin, all I have to tell you to do is go back and look at what happened last year with Panarin. Free Navalny, right? That was cool, right? Yeah, great. Artemi Panarin, look, he, you know, he, we, he's anti-Putin. That's great, right? That's why he had to take two weeks off to worry about the, the safety of his family. There are consequences to these things. Stop being so damn selfish. And again, don't put your Western ideals over where other cultures are different and other countries are different. I mean, there's there's many instances I can I can cite about this where athletes almost have to remain silent because uh, th their lives are in danger if they speak up. So uh, just uh, like it's just. No, don't don't do this. I don't know whether or not Igor Sesterkin is for or against Vladimir Putin. I have no idea. And I don't need to ask him. Because no. do you think anybody wants war? You think everybody's just going, hey, let's just have war.
I'm I'm losing my train of thought. So no, I just it's it, it's just I I don't think it's fair to be treating and I think it's actually xenophobic to be treating the the players like this because they've already spoken out. You you've had um one of the Russian ten, they, they've said no more war. That's like their politically correct way of of saying this, but it's. Alexander Ovechkin has even said that, but yet people, people, selfish people out there with their own political agendas want him to, to uh, go um, and, and and totally denounce Putin. Like the, again, just yeah. selfish because you're, you're putting somebody and his family in a terrible position because of your, your dis, displeasure and your distaste with Vladimir Putin. Again, again, the world would be better place without him. It would be a hell of a lot better of a place. And like well, Alexander Ovechkin lost his popularity in the last month? No. 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 Still it's the just, same guy, still everything. So. Just uh, enough is enough with this crap. Keep them out of it. Let them play and let them worry. Let them worry about other things. And, and you know what? They, they've got their families to worry about. They don't need some virtue signaling assholes online sitting here. Oh, they should be coming out and denouncing him. No, they have their families to worry about. Not your, not your ideals and not your standards. Okay, so get over yourself. Anthony, last word. Um, I mean, you guys pretty much said it all. Um, don't the only thing I kind of didn't like raise my eyebrow was um, I saw the the capital said that they're not allowing any. They're not allowing any Ukrainian flags in the building. Um, or Russian flags. That's yeah, or Russian flags. flags. Um, but, I mean, other teams like the Jet, the Winnipeg Jets were singing the, you know, the Ukrainian, the, the Ukrainian national anthem in the game. And, um, you know, everyone should be supporting them right now. And not I don't know, not allowing Ukrainian flags in the building, I think, is a little, a little weird. But um, They're trying to be neutral and trying not to seem one-sided. And I, I well, get I mean, that. there's clearly there's, there's there's only one side you really should be on right now. So I don't know why they would want they're trying to I, do I that. I get but, it, but it sends a um, bad message. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but I listen. I mean, I really don't I have I anything fully to say agree about with it, it. No, but I understand why they're doing it. Well, I, I, I I'm shaking my head at this because the last thing I'm doing is going to put these these guys in the middle of a situation that could end up costing them their lives when they go back home and uh, just to look no further than Panarin. That's all you need to do. What do you guys think? Are we being unreasonable or is the treatment of Russian hockey players being fair right now? Throw it all down in the comments below. Anthony, I'm glad. I if you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hmm, your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.